Mr Agnew. Yes, the, the first spokesman from the Commission rather whetted our appetite when he spoke about uh, barriers to trade or restriction of imports between member states. And I thought, oh, we're going to get some examples now. But then he said, today is not the, the time to talk about this. But obviously, I think we'd like to know, as the MEPs in this committee, uh, what is going on. And if you're not prepared to do it in public in here, perhaps you could let me know privately. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Agnew, I think that uh, you, I wasn't clear enough, or I, 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 I show you, I show all the uh, honorable members of the parliament a, a slide where I, I refer to known, uh, known to the commission national initiatives to restrict imports from other uh, member states. And I, in this slide, you see, I said that they, they, I wouldn't give names in particular because it, they were in my slide, but we have seen this type of trends, as I call them, initiatives. Uh, I give you the name, uh, those which are known to us in Belgium, in Germany, in Austria, in Hungary, in Greece, in Italy, and in France. I'm not telling you that all this, uh, this is all, probably we are, there are things which have escaped uh, to us, but these things, this sort of uh, attempts to restrict imports from other member states have popped up in these member states. And what it has happened is that the Commission, the European Commission, the DG competition in particular, uh, frequently with the help, but more frequently directly ourselves from Brussels, we have intervened vis-a-vis -vis the national governments and we have told them why they should avoid to put us in a situation where we will be obliged to intervene. And uh, we have found very uh, decent ways of avoiding this type of obvious breach to the logic and the nature of an internal market, which is that you cannot discriminate vis-a-vis -vis products coming from the other side of the, of, the, of the border, when the border is common in, uh, between two member states. Typically, the type of pro uh, so-called protectionism uh, measures or pro protectionist uh, behavior that we have seen uh, consisted, for example, in, 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 uh, in creating the conditions, I'm, I'm speaking in, in, on purpose like this, uh, for milk in France to be, to be uh, only French, also in Italy, or that meat in France should be uh, exclusively French and uh, avoid bringing this from other uh, member states. Uh, the same has been seen in, in supermarket uh, shelves. But all these attempts to break the logic of internal market have been solve in a, let's say, uh, open-minded and uh, constructive way with the respective uh, governments or the respective companies uh, aiming to, to, to uh, close their uh, national market. But this is a worrying tendency that I believe has to be uh, kept uh, in mind.